Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'll present you with the Misha build guide and also a team guide all in one video. Misha is going to be an excellent character for players who do not have Jing Liu. So if you do not have Jing Liu and you're looking for a nice ice coverage character, especially for Memory of Chaos, Misha is going to be it. This character is going to work great at E0 as well. And now, without any more delays, let's begin with the build guide guide part of this video for the main stats uh, you're going to be looking for a crit rate body ideally you can also have a crit damage body assuming you have crit rate sub stats to compensate for that as for feet it's going to be speed orb is going to be ice damage and a rope attack percentage as for the sub stats priority you'll be looking for having enough speed on your mission so you can act multiple times within certain cycles crit stats attack percentage and then that's basically it. Effect hit rate uh, is not necessary for Misha as much uh, because Misha does provide effect hit rate to himself uh, quite a lot, uh, which is 60%. And also, he does increase his own base chance of freezing enemies by an additional 80%. So, already by default kit at E0, you're going to have 100% base chance to freeze enemies and also 60% effect hit rate on top. Uh, so, you don't exactly have to focus on effect hit rate or anything like that. It's going to be good enough. Uh, as for relic sets themselves uh, the options are also very very straightforward you can basically use uh, the good og 1.0 set uh, hunter of glacial forest uh, this set will provide 10% ice damage, but more importantly, you will also get some crit damage boost when you ultimate. This is a very straightforward stat stick piece for Misha. It's going to work great. Do keep in mind, Misha does increase his own crit damage by 30% when dealing damage to frozen enemies. So combined with this set bonus, you're going to have in total 55 crit damage buff. You can actually focus more on crit rate sub stats because you're going to have Quite a lot of crit damage this way if you do not have hunter of glacial forest available you can also use pioneer diver of dead waters this is the new set this set will provide damage dealt increase to enemies by 12 percent on two set bonus and also at four pieces you will get four percent crit rate buff and the holder of this set will do eight to twelve percent increased crit damage to enemies with at least two slash three debuffs after the wearer inflicts a debuff on an enemy target the aforementioned effect will be increased by 100%, lasting for one turn. Basically, it can double. The two-piece set is pretty much going to work at all times because you will be freezing enemies quite a lot with Misha. However, having three debuffs is not going to be easy on Misha on his own. If you do combine it with something like Pella, you might have enough debuffs, especially if Misha is E2. Misha at E2 has a base chance to reduce target enemy defense for three turns, meaning you will have an additional debuff that will be able to put on a target so misha then will have two debuffs and then if you play with pella that's a third one and you'll be able to use this set somewhat but this set domain is not necessarily very economic and good to farm you could try to craft this on the side as for the rest it's basically just double piece combination of whatever you have with good substance such as double ice set damage bonus with double attack or double speed whatever you might have as long as with good substats as you can see the relic options and planner set options and overall gearing of misha is very straightforward very simple as for light con options they're very straightforward as well and you don't have that many options realistically the best in slot option is going to be on the fall of an ion on the fall of an ion will provide much needed attack boost very useful for him and also each time you inflict weakness break you will have a damage boost this works nicely on him because misha will be doing significant amount of of damage to toughness bars you will be breaking enemies with misha and you will also get more damage boost this way a very all-rounder excellent light con other options that you can use if Ion is already being used by somebody else, such as Under the Blue Sky, is a decent alternative that you can use. It does provide an attack boost, and it also increases the crit rate of Misha whenever he defeats an enemy. As for the third option, you could also be using Secret WoW. If you do not have Ion or it's not available, of course, this is basically just a 20% damage boost, and that's about it. The second component part, it's not exactly going to come much into play with Misha. 
Misha. Because do remember, you will be freezing enemies quite a lot. Ideally, your Misha will stay at full HP. Now, I'll also mention what teams you can run Misha in with. Misha is a typical damage dealer that can be run as a hyper carry or in a dual DPS teams. I will give you some team ideas where you can run Misha. The teams will only expand over time as we get more characters. The basically free to play option to play Misha is pretty much going to be Misha with Pella and Ting Yun. Pella and Ting Yun are going to be excellent for Misha because Pella will provide much needed defense shred for multiple targets. So Misha ultimate, which might will hit multiple targets, will hit everything under the defense shred and maximize your damage. Also, Pella's an ice unit at E4 can boost Misha damage further by reducing ice damage resistance, which is also very nice. She's also a very good SP generator, especially have it with tutorial. So your Misha can spam more ultimate because the way you play Misha is basically just spam skill all day and ultimate. His ultimate cost is 100 after all, and this is the way to go. Meanwhile, Ting Yun is going to provide a lot of energy, so your Misha with a very cheap ultimate will be able to spam ultimate even more often, and also the tag boost is very nice. As for the sustainer option for all of these teams, uh, the baseline is pretty much Lynx, uh, and then you can upgrade it from Lynx to Fushuan, uh, Locha, and whatever you might have, of course. Uh, but the baseline is Lynx. Uh, as for dual DPS options, uh, you could be running Misha with Blade and Aru and Mei. This is usually played with Jing Liu and Blade, but assuming you do not have uh, Jing Liu, you'll be using Misha here instead, especially against enemies that are weak to Ice and Wind to maximize your damage. If the sustainer is here Lynx, you can also spam skill on Lynx to provide more taunt on Blade for more follow-up attacks. However, do keep in mind, if your teammates are spamming too much skill points, then Misha can't spam his, and that's a problem, because you want to have teams where Misha can spam the skill point. And here is another solution, Hanya teams. You could play also Misha with Hanya, because Hanya does provide skill point recovery, and also she spams skill herself, which is very useful for Misha, because she'll be able to spam his skill very easily, and also Misha does not have any follow-up attacks, meaning that the ultimate damage boost and skill damage boost that Hanya does provide is going to be very useful for Misha. As for the support option besides Hanya, you could be going from Tingyun, Pella, to some extent even Bronya would also work, depending if you have E1S1 Bronya, it would be even easier, and Sustainer, once again, baseline links with whatever else you have, but the point is the ability to spam Misha skills. Ideally, you want to have a team where your teammates are consuming skill points, so your Misha will get extra hits for his ultimate and also energy. Hanya is an excellent partner for him because Hanya does get to spam skill and still provide skill point recovery back at the same time, so she's gonna help him get those stacks higher. As for any other options, you can also run him in all kinds of double DPS teams or even hyper carry variations. The biggest and most important thing is for Misha that you play against ice weakness enemies and also that they do not have resistance to freeze. This is the most important requirement. If you fulfill this requirement, you're able to play all kinds of teams with Misha even slotted in a dual DPS type of comp. So yeah, I guess uh, this is going to be all for this uh, video. I still hope this guide was useful to you. And as always, uh, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Honky Star Real content. I do stream every single day on Twitch slash YouTube simultaneously. So feel free to check me out if you have any questions about the game. I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video.